guys so welcome back to my channel so today I will be doing a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails and just as a disclaimer um, like everyone makes their thumbnails differently and this is just how I make mine um, there may be an easier way there may be a harder way to do it but this is just how I make mine and I find it to be the most efficient um, so yeah also um, I would love to see what you guys make so if you would like to send me your thumbnails on Twitter I would love to see them like I'm not even kidding you um, if this helped you if this helps you definitely send them to me on Twitter and without further ado let's get right into the tutorial um, so basically I use Photoshop um, for my thumbnails way back when I first started YouTube about a year ago um, I started using I mean I used PicMonkey and PicMonkey is really great to start off with but I wanted to take my thumbnails to the next level so I started using Photoshop and I also use this um, this mod by Lumia Lover Sims and it basically it just changes the background in my case It's going to be a solid green color and it's just it really helps because it helps me make the background Transparent and when it comes to like moving sims around I really like having transparent backgrounds and it just really really helps so for without further ado Let's get on into the tutorial. Oh wait I'm gonna link this down below if you would like to download it um, and also, um, I think there's a free version of Photoshop um, on Photoshop's on Adobe's website. I'm not really sure, but if I find it, I will definitely link it below. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop yeah. into. The first thing that I do, I open up the Create a Sim. I choose what Sim I want to use, and then I just delete like all of their traits. And this really, really helps because then I can have like the poses here, and I can take the screenshot. So. Um, this usually takes me about 10 or 15 minutes just to take screenshots because it takes several screenshots. So the first thing that you want to do is just press C and it's going to take like this static picture and then you can also move your sim to the right or something and well this hair actually is kind of weird on the side so I wouldn't do that. I would just keep it like in the front and then basically I just go through all of my poses and it's super simple and I just try to take a whole bunch of screenshots and one thing that I really like doing um, if you encounter like a trait or a pose that has a whole bunch of poses in one then you can go ahead and press Control shift C and then use the cheat cast clock speed um, and you can so the default speed is one but if you would like that to be lower um, if you would like them to move slower you can make that below one so a, a good speed would be like 0 0.5 so that will basically just slow down how the sim is moving and slow down the animation so that you can catch a pose um, I really like doing this with the scree the squeamish trait so I would basically just slow that down and it just really looks cool and I would take a whole bunch of screenshots like literally like just spam the C button and they make some really funny faces I don't just use custom content mods like this one but I also use the traits animations that are already um, in the game sometimes so yeah that's really cool so yeah so after I've taken a whole bunch of screenshots then I will just basically close the sims 4 and open up photoshop so once i have it open i will be right back okay so now what i do is open up photoshop and i will just go up here to file and then open and then i will just go ahead and find the file that i was using before and i will basically just you know sort through the screenshots that i that i um took and just find one that i think i would like i'm just going to choose one and for this one i actually chose this one right here and this one's going to go right in the middle of this one that i have right here so yeah the first thing that i do is crop the image and how you do that you just go to here to where it says crop tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this a little bit I'm not gonna move it all the way um, but I just want to take out majority of the green in the background and yeah so I'm just taking out most of it and then what I do after that is after I've cropped it and I press check I'm going to go up here to where it says select and then I'm gonna go to color range and I'm going to make sure that invert is checked and I'm just gonna click on the green this eyedropper tool should be there so it should be really easy so yeah, I'm just gonna click on the green and then I'm gonna press OK and then now since you have inverted it it's gonna select the sim so now we have the, the sim selected so I'm gonna go here to where the square is and I'm gonna go to refine edge and I have these settings set as this right here and as you can see it does delete the green background but there's a there's a 
few like there's some green left and that's okay because we're going to change that in a minute so yeah i have my settings set as this 8.2 negative 18 smooth 9 and then i have this is very important where the output is um you will want to check decontaminate colors and have this set at 100 percent and then make sure that it has um new layer with mask set and that's basically just going to delete the background but also keep it just in case you want to use it again so yeah um so i'm going to go ahead and press ok and as you can see here there is some green left and that's okay because we're going to change that right now so for this side i really kind of want to keep that but i'm going to just erase this little wispy hair right here because it's kind of getting on my nerves and then what i'm going to do is go to this eyedropper tool and i'm just going to select a color that's similar to what should be right here and then i'm going to click on this thing right here so this looks like it looks like a paintbrush so i'm going to click that and I'm going to click color replacement tool after that. So yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and just paint this over and you basically don't even notice it at all. Um, you don't want to do this like all around the hair. Like as you can see here, this color is a bit lighter than this color. So you want to grab the closest color to that and you will just click on the eyedropper and then click that and then go back to the paint tool, right click on it and just make sure that you have color replacement tool set and you can basically just change the color. Um, don't overdo it because it could just, you know, kind of ruin it, but yeah. And then I'm just gonna also make these edges a little bit more clean because I do like, I do like having like the hair, you know, pretty set. And let's go back to the color replacement tool and do that because I do see that little green spot. And you can also zoom in if you need to. That one does not want to go away. Okay, then. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, and you can also, like I said, you can also erase them if you would like to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to erase some over here because, like I said, it's kind of bothering me. Um, I don't really, like, go all the way into detail with them because sometimes, like, if there's just a little bit of green left, I'm okay with that. But if there's a lot, like, before, then I'm definitely not okay with that. So, yeah, I think this is actually pretty good. Um, I don't really see that much green. So, what I'm going to do now is go to File, and then I'm going to save this as a PSD file. Um, you can save this wherever you want. I'm just going to save it in this folder, and I don't really have a really clever name. So I just put tutorial.2.4 because I have other ones that I'm going to be using too. Okay, so now since I have the sim saved and everything, I'm going to go ahead and go to this arrow and I'm going to drag it into the one that I was just using before. And this one is basically going to be the full thumbnail and I'm going to go ahead and put that one on top so you can see. So yeah, I'm going to put this one right on top and these two do have an outer glow. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy the layer style and paste it onto this one right here. So yeah, and the way that you can make an outer glow for your sims is basically just double click and then go ahead and click on on outer glow and you can adjust as much as you want I usually just use the white like where this white is I just change this to white and then I also change the opacity it might change that up or down depending on what I want to do and stuff like that you can also change the noise you can change this to precise um, you should really just play around with it and see how you like it and everything so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and press ok and then now since I that's my phone, yay. So now since I have that set, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But um, I do kind of want to see how it would look on another background because I can't really see if there are any flaws with it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it onto another thing. I'm going to use this pretty soon, but I just wanted to see like how it looks. As you can see, there's no like things messed up on it. So... So yeah, now what I would do is go ahead, um, if you feel like you, this layer style, like this white, and you really like that now, you can just go ahead and press save. And I'm going to save this as a PNG so that I can basically flatten the image. I want to, there's another way to flatten the image, but it's just going to make the background white. And I want the background to be transparent for this. So as long as you have everything in place, we're going to go ahead and press file. And then we're going to save it as a PSD first. And then we're going to save it as a PNG file. And this is just going to be like your raw file that we're going to use later. So I'm going to go ahead and press, I don't know what I should name it. I'm going to name it tutorial, tutorial 00. I don't know. I'm not really clever with the names like I was saying before. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go to open. You can leave that window open if you would like to. So you can go back later. And yeah, so now I have the PNG version. It's just a tutorial PNG on the bottom. So yeah. So now I'm going to go up here to image and I'm going to adjust the colors for this sim because I don't know. I just really like doing that and like 
changing them around. You could obviously do this for each individual sim on the other PSD file, but it will be, it's kind of difficult to match all the colors, so I just choose to do it this way. So yeah, I really like making it brighter and stuff like that, also dimmer sometimes. Um, I really, really like bringing up the contrast. It looks super cool and also the brightness. That's a little bit too bright for me, so I'm going to bring that down. And yeah, so go to image and then adjustments again and then exposure. Um, I don't really change it that much because as you can see, it kind of, it does, it can kind of make or break your sim like super quickly. But I do kind of like that shine that it gives, so I'm going to go to 0 0.16. And then also gamma correction, that kind of brings out this black. I really like that one, so I'm gonna, not going to make it that intense but I'm definitely going to use it yeah I kind of like that so I'm then gonna go to image again and then I'm going to go to vibrance now and vibrance kind of changes the sum up kind of makes them look a little bit more yellow um, she does have blonde hair so I think that's kind of that kind of works oh that's too much and saturation can make your sim like make look make them look black and white if you want them to look black and white so yeah, now I'm going to go to image again, adjustments. The next thing I usually go to is photo filter. And I'm doing this so that I can like, you can have a filter in your sims. It really looks cool at the end. You can have a blue filter. You can have a red filter. The red filter kind of looks good. Um, I wouldn't like make the density like 100%. That kind of looks, I mean, if you want that look, that's pretty cool. But I kind of want to keep like her yellow color that she has. So I'm going to bring that down. And I also, I always have preserved luminosity checked because I do like how it is kind of, you know, luminescent and stuff. So yeah, I can also do cyan. That looks pretty cool. And deep blue. Um, and also warming filter. I like the warming filter the best. I use that for my speed build thumbnails. So yeah, and I have that like that. And then I'm going to keep going. Just go to image adjustments. And then I'm going to go down to shadows and highlights. And this is usually the last part. The usual, usually the last thing that I do when I make the thumbnails is just um, adjust the shadows. I do kind of like how it makes this black a little bit, so I'm going to keep that like that at zero. And yeah, that's it for that. So I think I really like how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and press file and then save. And it is called tutorial 00 and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to click this arrow right here. I'm going to drag the sim into drag the sim onto my purple background. Oh, I don't have it yet. Oops. Oh yeah, I have my purple background right here. So yeah, I'm going to put the sim right and it should fit perfectly um, hopefully that image that you saved is 1280 by 720 so yeah um, so now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my thumbnail and um, I did go to file new and then 1280 by 720 just make sure your settings are the same and you can set this as any color that you would like it to be so yeah for me mine's gonna be purple Okay, so now since I have the thumbnail here, I'm going to go ahead and add a texture to this background. Um, I went ahead and I googled, I basically just googled textures on the internet, and it really doesn't matter what color this is. It can be any color. You can always change it if you would like to. I'm basically just doing this for the texture. It doesn't matter what size it is, but a large image is definitely preferable. So yeah, I downloaded this, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this back to where I was before. Where is the thumbnail? I'm going to put this in the back. Um, I'm going to get this layer and I'm put it lower right under that one. And as you can see here, I kind of have it, it's going to look like this when we finish because I like this color better. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that layer and I'm just going to go to where it says blending options and I'm going to just bring that opacity down because um, I don't really like the blue. I kind of want it to be purple, you know, like this. So yeah, that's basically what I do. I would just bring the opacity down. I'm not really going to do that much with it because I feel like it looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the word. So this is how mine looks. Um, basically, I have the font. Let's see what font I have, actually. So I'm using the font Pacifico Regular. And you basically would just type in whatever you would like to. But before you do that, make sure that the size is pretty big. Because if you zoom out like this, you can press Control minus, and it's gonna basically just show you how the thumbnail is gonna look after you know you zoom out. And this is how it's gonna look, and you want people to click on it, so it's best to have the words be really huge, and so that they're readable from uh, even a small little thumbnail. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in, and yeah, this is how mine's gonna look. So I'm going to go ahead and type in thumbnail tutorial just so you can see how the process works. It doesn't really matter what color it is, but yeah. Um, we're going to change that in a moment. Oops, I spelled it wrong. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the layer that I'm just on right now. And then I'm going to go to gradient overlay. And I'm going to change that to the rainbow because I really, really like that one. 
and yeah I like that one so then I'm gonna go to scale you can change that if you would like to um, I like the linear one I also like the reflective one too but I'm gonna go ahead and go with linear and then I'm going to bring the opacity down just a tad bit and I'm gonna add an outer glow I love outer glows like I seriously do so yeah that's why I added the outer glow and yeah, let's bring the opacity up a little bit and the spread. And yeah, that's basically how that one looks. But since I already have it right here, um, I don't really need to do that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press, I'm going to go ahead and save as since I am finished with it. And I'm going to save it as PSD first, just in case I want to go back. And then I'm going to go ahead and save as PNG. And I like saving as PNG because it just looks really cool. So yeah, I'm going to save as PNG and um, make sure that this is set at small as slow and interlace none so that it is under two megabytes that's the end of the tutorial i hope that i could help you guys and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go now and um definitely send me your pictures on twitter and i will see you guys in the next video